Hello and welcome back my fellow survivors to some more Project Zomboid with Chuck Miller. We just finished listening to um, today's emergency broadcast. No helicopter again. Um, I did check my little guide, my little notebook. I did actually have the date slightly wrong. Another thing I got wrong. <laughs> um, the last helicopter was the 3rd of February, so it's been 15 days. Uh, so I'm guessing I think it's 16 days is the max uh, so I presume that means uh, that it will definitely be here tomorrow but what is more important that it's not here today so plan for today is we're going to go back up to the crossroads at New Rosewood and we are going to clear out the uh, big group that we sort of had to ditch previous episode um, we've got a hand axe I've got this koopy machete I managed to oh, that's why I'm so heavy that's why I'm overweight um, we found this uh, kukri machete excellent damage as you can see it's like um, yeah, it's like I'm 80 years old or something the swing is very 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 slow so we can return once more to the trusty axe. So yeah, so the plan is, as I was saying, slight change already. We are not going to be using the machete. We are going to clear out the horde, and then we're going to go on a little bit of sightseeing. We're going to drive around New Rosewood, see if there's anything super interesting. Uh, fill in the map we can maybe look at the map once we have a drive around and see if there's any interest in um, buildings that we want to sort of target as a high priority target uh, as go more direct to so it'll be interesting it's been a couple of days it'll be interesting to see how the zombies have moved around they don't just stay in a big group, they do sort of spread out. I think in the options it's called a rally group. Okay. Fortunately, not all of them saw me there. I think the rally groups are about 15, something like that. Okay. Oh, still got the machete. That ain't gonna cut it. No pun intended. Right. Let's get to work. In the last episode as well, we did also reach another milestone with the kills. We've got 3,000 kills now. Just when I think the numbers of zombies will start to dip around town, there's just more and more and more. And where will it all end, huh? So, let's... Hopefully this is most of the group that we ditched when we were using the shotgun uh, boomstick if you like in the previous episode as you can see we are pretty deadly with the fire now another thing I'm looking to do in this episode as well if we have the time time always goes so quickly we'll be looking to um, really power through leveling up our carpentry get that up to level 4 long overdue we're going over a month and a half and uh, our skills perhaps not what they could be should we say another super windy day we'll cut our way through up to the crossroads and then we'll see what's going down. Looking for any leather. Right, let's go in on foot because you just don't know. You don't want to drive into a big group like we almost did a few minutes ago.
already, as you can see. This is what we got up to previous episode. I'll do with a um, hunting knife, actually. Take the stealth kill from behind. I do like to have a weapon that isn't uh, stabby stabby, cutty cutty. So I do see if I'm on the hunt for some clothes, I can um, hopefully pick up some good condition clothes. So that's why I like to have a, bl a short blunt. Right. Well. Let's put that away. So, it looks like our fun with the shotgun in the previous episode was worthwhile. There is not much going on down here. So, let's get back to the car and we'll do a little bit of sightseeing, as I said. Don't want to... It'd be nice. Part of me wants to stop and loot all these bodies because there would be some useful stuff. Uh, but that would literally take me probably all day. And there's more fun to be had. We've got plenty of weapons. We're doing all right for... Um, clothes, things like this, general tools, all that short, sort of thing. A hearty appetite, so I'm absolutely pigging my way through all the food. But getting a little bit low again, uh, back at the fire department base. Oh, what are we doing weight-wise? Yeah, we're still losing weight, so it'd be nice to find um, a gas station or convenience store where I can get lots of junk food. So... I think what we'll do is we will drive down here, this road here, see what there is, and then cut back up here and do a big loop back around. Uh, just fill in the map, keep our eyes peeled. Yeah, as I said, a little bit of sightseeing shouldn't be a problem driving around. We're not going to get swamped completely. Could be a bit of a bumpy ride in places. Right, so we're going to take it nice and slow. So we can see what there is. I, mean, I didn't go very far before we saw some more zombies. But we've got a clothes store. We've got a mythical, magical disappearing cardboard box. We've got a diner. Again, can't really see too well what some of these places are. Bakery, um, a sewing shop, a bookshop, and familiar names. Uh, Mendy's, insurance, can't think we've got homes uh, to the driver's right. We are super hungry. Got a greens. I think that's probably the end. Let's very quickly look. Yeah. So we want to go up here. See what we can see. So this is sort of the edge. Oh, there we go. That's going to stir up the zombies. Okay, well, that's good. We've got a nice clear corner there. So we won't suddenly drive for ages in the wrong direction. Wow, I'm super hungry. That happened quickly. Just the one alarm. As I was moving. I guess it's just up here. <laughs> That's where all the zombies are coming to. As you can see, still a lot of zombies. Got two story homes. More residential. A little uh, food place there by the look of it. Very interesting look looking vehicle there. Oh, we've got a mall. 
got a mole by the look of it. Very big. Three, four story mall. These signs here to the left, that is for a mall. That's a floor plan. Not absolutely chocker. Let's just go up here, see if there's anything. coming up that's probably one of the tile sets something yeah, let's have that those peas I didn't actually get to open it all right well we'll just have to go hungry ah uh, yeah Durkia that is nice A little tr tribute to Ikea there Zombies. Sorry, car. I always think that's. Uh, ooh, we've got another gas station. Cool. I always think that's me bursting a tire when I go over those um, cones. Got more homes. Yeah, I had a feeling that was going to happen. Oh wow! What is that place? It is big. We've covered most of the town. That farmer hug I did see. I had a feeling that this would happen. I had a feeling I'd drive down a dead end. But crowds aren't too bad. Got a stadium or baseball area there by the look of it. Got some big buildings, both in footprint and in height. I think I can't drive through those barriers. I go up there. Oh, that's the campsite. Is that the evac center? <laughs> Don't mind me, guys. There's supposed to be a zoo and an evac centre. Wow, this is a bigger than expected map. Right. Might have to look for a, not that way. Might have to look for another car after this one. I could probably fit through those barriers, but I don't want to make a mess of it. Well, there we are. There's your little sightseeing tour of New Rosewood. It's just, is this the other side of the diner? Oh, there's no road down there. Okay, let's not try and cut across the car park. Right, let's get back down the crossroads all right we've got a little bit more time left in the day plenty of time actually let's park up here let's have a little look at the map wow we didn't quite cover it all by the look of it into a mist a bit up here. Blue is hotel. It was a little bit risky because I could hear them, but I couldn't see where they were. Right. Let's just take out these stragglers. And following us. Let's check our six. We're good. Lots and lots of interesting locations to check out. It's 
replica from the diner. Wow. I don't know if that house alarm, but it's 600 tile radius. Yeah, it's bringing them from far and wide. It's not that many. So let's take the opportunity. Take them out. Where on earth they're coming from? I don't know, because they're coming up from Rosewood. And, um, well, you know, that's our town. We've cleared that place out. Well, <laughs> maybe that's a little bit ambitious. We haven't really cleared it out, have we? Right, let's have a luxurious canopies. Let's see if we can get into the diner. Let's find some food. And we've got spiffos. Not that many zombies. Still hungry, but don't have any more food on us. So let's see what we can find in these places. Looks pretty quiet thanks to our shotgun shenanigans. This place is a real apocalyptic look to it, huh? I'm a little bit wary. All the main entrances and exits are f covered, barricaded. I'm just a little bit worried about going in somewhere and getting cornered. A red glow stick. Quite a few water dispensers. There's the kitchen. Manager's office, I'm guessing. I don't need any of that stuff. Again, something that should be a container and is just in the way. Right. Oh, that is awesome. That is exactly the sort of thing we want. Can of oats, quite fatty. We're losing weight. So we need to be eating peanut butter, corned beef, all that sort of thing. Oh dear, what am I doing? I'm in, I'm looting, but I'm not in looting mode. I don't have a, a looting bag separate. Let's just fill our water while we're here. Okay, a little bit of food. A little bit. It's up, there's an upstairs. That's the kitchen covered. I do um I don't like searching through buildings like this. Missed that doorway. Never mind. There's too many entrances and exits for zombies to get me. I'm not good with surprises. Um, so I do like to make quite a bit of noise to draw out any zombies. So I'll I do like moving the glass in the windows. That can draw out any zombies to you. And also, as long as there's not too many groups outside. I do also like to um, shout as well inside a building. Don't have a problem in bringing the zombies to me out in the open where I can fight them. We've got where the stairs were there, of course. Hmm. Ball. Do I want to pick it up? Risk it? No. I don't think I do, actually. Right, a 
A few bits of food, but not much. Super windy day. Right, let's check out the diner. Get into a few more locations, see what we can find. Nice looking van there. Take the rounds. Just check the back of this vehicle. There might be you know, a propane torch or something. That's okay. All right, let's get in the diner. Check that out. Yeah, it looks like the um, shotgun stuff did a good job. Clear quite large parts of the area. That looks like a coffee shop. I definitely want to get in there, see if we can find some uh, tea or coffee. Oh, we've got a survivor. He's got some good looking gear on him, guys. He's got some good looking gear. Well, there's the clothes shop. Just the one survivor. He's got some good gear. I see a military backpack. I'm just a bit twitchy with all the all the buildings on either side getting snuck up on. Right, what have you got, dude? Got a rifle. He's got a military backpack. Now let's quit that secondary right away, and we'll go to the hand axe. We can start putting any loot we find in a separate bag rather than keeping it in our backpack, which is for my uh, sort of day to day stuff meds, tools, and things like that. Well, that's a nice, uh, nice find. Nice army backpack. Um, I did, when I looked at that thing on his back, lying about I thought is that a machete but no it's another rifle don't want to speed it up seven o'clock still not drowsy which is surprising let's try this oh, there we go <laughs> it's like I can see into the future the amount of times that happens Right, did I transfer everything? Pretty much. Right, let's get in the coffee shop. Let's get in the diner next door. And I think... We'll have to think about returning back to the base. We'll probably go to our new Rosewood base because there's more food there. I did lose my glasses a couple of episodes ago they were knocked off and I didn't notice at the time which is you know so unlike me right let's take out these guys and let's get inside the building before it gets too dark and we can't see what's going on okay two more Okay, right. As per usual, I'm getting distracted. That ambulance looks in very good condition, but there you go. Getting distracted again. Let's get in the coffee shop. See if we can find any more food. <clears throat> Excuse me. Not quite big. That's a bar. That's okay. You can see a fridge. Nice. 
There's the kitchen at the back. But yeah, fair enough. Take the bourbon. Oh, put that on the floor by mistake. That's a shame. Very well stocked. Oh, there we are. Nice. Hit that straight away. I'm getting quite low on our weight. Once we get to under well, 75 and under, we will be underweight again. So we'll get quite a significant debuff to our strength and uh, carry capacity, I think, as well. Well, we've got quite a lot of beer here. We could have quite a party, huh? Five bottles of bourbon. I'll take it. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. I, I don't really want all the alcohol. I've got quite a bit of alcohol already. And I'm only really going to be looking to eat, uh, drink it if I want to get to sleep. And I've got sleeping tablets as well, so... Right, that's another location done. Pretty quiet. Actually, let's take the door engine knob. We'll be looking to build quite a few doors soon as we fix up our, our two bases. Getting quite dark. There's a big diner. Yeah, it's getting really dark now. Right. We're, at, uh, we're tired now as well. Next level of tiredness. I'll try and remember to update the map because I do want to actually label what the buildings are. I'm going to get back to base. New Rosewood base. There's more food there. So we're going to have a heartier breakfast. And I will cut back in the morning. And we'll listen to the broadcast. Got to be expecting... Actually, let's go back to our Rosewood base. Uh, uh, old Rosewood. Got to be expecting the heli tomorrow. And... Yeah, I want to just actually stay indoors and hope that the helicopter goes after an hour. And if it doesn't, if it goes wrong somehow, and we do attract a lot of zombies, which I'm not expecting, then I'd rather be down here a lot clearer. I don't want to be in New Rosewood and potentially attract a lot of zombies. Anyway, I will cut back in the morning and uh, we'll listen to the emergency broadcast see if we finally be the 16th day since our last one we'll see if we finally get a helicopter so I will cut back very very shortly hello and welcome back everybody it's the morning after pretty uneventful no zombies as far as the eye could see again probably which means of course no nope. <laughs> I was expecting there to be like a group outside having said that they've been run generator wow well, okay it's actually used up quite a bit of fuel i was just sort of staying at base until nine o'clock we'll check out once more the emergency broadcast but look guys look at what i've done with this love what was once probably quite a lovely vehicle Look at the state of that hood now. Absolutely ruined it. I think at some point I'm going to have to have a little bit of a scout around Rosewood. 
and um, cherry pick a few nice looking cars. Of course, they won't last, they won't be nice for long with my driving, but just listen to the broadcast. Clear skies. A bit of rain, possible snow. It's going to be a cold one. Thunderstorm in five days. Hmm. Oh, there we go. Air activity detected. So, just very briefly, what the plan is. Truck's going to hate it. But the plan is to just chill at the base. You know, just read skill books, eat food, just wait for the heli to blow over. Um, according to the wiki, if you are inside and the helicopter doesn't spot well if you're inside the helicopter won't spot you so it'll just uh, fly over take an hour to fly over and then just go what i'm not sure on so i thought i heard banging then what i'm not sure on is will that hour will these zombies be attracted I really thought I did hear them banging. So yeah, so we're just going to chill out at home. Until the helicopter goes. So let's go upstairs. I'm just going to stay up here. Read some skill books. Got plenty of skill books to read. There's the snow. The plan is, if we see... Right, if we get some zombies coming up to say hi, which shouldn't happen. Got a sheet rope out the back. We'll run for it. Good old-fashioned run for it. Right, so, started to read mechanics level 2, so I'm just going to sit down in the corridor, read the mechanics volume 2 and listen very carefully to the helicopter, because as soon as the helicopter's gone, I want to get on with it, you know, we've got work to do, things to do. Places to be, all that sort of thing. Right, so let's take a seat and let's do some reading. So I will cut back either when something happens or the helicopter's been and gone and we can get outside again. So I'll see you guys, hopefully, from my perspective anyway, very, very shortly. Okay guys, as you can hear, the helicopter is uh, here. Got here at 5 o'clock. I've got to say, been here quite a bit longer than an hour. Still not getting any zombies visiting. We've finally, it's taken us all day, but we've read... Mechanics Volume 2. Oh, I never noticed that before. It still says Mechanics for Intermediates on the book title. As you can see over on the right, he's very bored. Chuck needs... He needs to kill zombies for entertainment, bless him. Right, well, it sounds like it's gone. You have a bit of banging, of course. Right down below, 
Okay, well, we've got to take care of that. Right, so the helicopter, what's that? 5 and 2, 8, 30. 16 day gap. That's the max gap you can have, I think. Right, let's get. Let's get our army flashlight. We can attach that to our belt. That's useful. Oh, another day done. Pretty uneventful. But we, we got some skill books read. We're a little bit tired. Difficult to tell how many zombies there are. Now they're all they're all grouped up right behind uh, the generator, which is actually good for us. Oh well there's what about six or seven. God knows where these guys were. But we did get some helicopter zombies. Still not quite sure how it works. Oh, that's good timing. That is a problem with uh, games like this that are in development. Things change. Details, what you find on the internet can be inaccurate. Like There's two there. Well, this flashlight, as you can see, is oh wow that was a slow swing this flashlight is very effective you don't want to go two handed with the axe because you won't be able to see right let's leave that guy there right let's get back indoors yeah it did bring a few in didn't it Hmm. So a couple of people have said that, you know, when the helicopter comes, just uh, sit inside. Just chill and read a book and let it all blow over. And I checked it out on the wiki. It says if you're inside or you're in a forest, it said. Then um, the helicopter won't see you and it will just go after an hour. But it didn't go after an hour. So I'm not convinced if just staying at home is the best tactic. It would have been interesting to see if we were in New Rosewood when that helicopter had come. We'd stayed at home if we'd have made it out alive. So let me know what you guys think about all the helicopter and what your experiences are. I've always run in the past, always. I know there's a zombie downstairs. It's dark, I'm tired. I'm going to sleep. So I'll see you guys shortly. Okay, welcome back everyone. It's the morning after, nice and early. We're starting to get quite a chore checking out the emergency broadcast every day. We're good for a good week or so now. We are super hungry. Absolutely chugging through our food. <sighs> right, let's go down. Let's check around the base and see exactly how many zombies uh, came to say hi. Nobody came upstairs. I'm almost disappointed. actually sh quite sure exactly how long we've been going but it'd be nice to get up to the hotel and um, disassemble a lot of the beds that are there See if we can get up to level three carpentry it's a nice little finale well I can't hear any banging Uh, 
I can't find a zombie. Whether it's that lone firefighter zombie we saw when we went back out the front and wandered around after destroying the barricade, I don't know. But uh, we've got a bit of a clean up, it's not too bad. We have got some more barricading to do. Let's take care of these guys. Let's zoom up to the hotel. Got all the tools we need, saw, hammer, all that. Nice. Always take one of those. Be interesting to see how many other zombies there are in and around the areas we drive back up the high street. Nice to finally get the helicopter out of the way. Right, let's get back in the car. Let's zoom up to the hotel. We need about 200 XP to level up. Let's see if we can do that and then we'll call it for today. So I'll what have we got here? Another bag is what we've got, so we'll take that. Right. No, I thought it was a big hiking bag, but it's just a school bag. Right, I'll work my way back up the high street. Or main street. I think Americans call would call it. And I will cut back eventually when I get to the hotel. Uh, I'll see you be back very shortly. It's got a cleaver in him. Okay guys, we didn't get very very far at all and we came across quite a big group. Let's take out this cord. Quickly check to see if they've got any decent loot. I'm still looking for that spiffo. Right, a few more. I think we're going to come across. Quite a few more groups. Maybe I should have looked behind the fire department to see uh, if there were a load of zombies sort of stuck at the fence who were attracted to the area by helicopter. Almost forgot the shells. Tucked up. Uh, but couldn't get to us. waiting to take these uh, six shells one of my most desired items at the moment put the hand axe away we can repair it I'll, I'll leave off preparing it until we've got a little bit more skill in our carpentry may just power through levels three and four read the book and just get straight on with five and six wow okay this is going to take a little bit longer than i thought it would right, let's not bother checking them got a leather jacket but we've got three or four and it's probably pretty ruined yeah 
does have a magazine, so I'll take that. Let's continue to work our way up to the hotel. I'll take it. It's a hundred percent. Not sure how many firearms I've got. That way. Right, got more zombies. Right, I think I'm going to have to call it for today. And we'll kick off the next episode exactly where we left off here. And we'll work on our carpentry at the hotel. Now, one final thing. You may have noticed. I've got a rather lovely new scarf. And I had a shave as well. I swapped out a few of my items of clothing. Now, I did have a hole in my denim shirt. So I swapped that out as well for a 100% one. Um, but yeah. Right, we finally got the helicopter out of the way. A little... Well, my little experiment with just staying at home was somewhat inconclusive um helicopter three and a half hours no not masses of uh, zombies nobody came up the stairs to find us but definitely did draw some zombies to the area that might have gone quite pear-shaped if i tried that at our new rosewood base there's a lot more zombies nearby and it's a lot more open Right, well, yes, yeah, so the next episode we will be at the hotel and we'll see if we can power level our carpentry, get up to level four, start to building some proper infrastructure back at our base. But for today, unfortunately, that is all. Quite happy to carry on. Um, but uh, yeah, we'll pick up straight from the next episode. If you are new, if you've just discovered my channel, welcome. Uh, if you've made it this far, you must have found it quite entertaining. Uh, if so, uh, this is episode 33 of my survival series. Do like and comment, subscribe. Do consider subscribing. Always hungry for more subscribers. Uh, do leave a comment uh, if there's any sort of feedback, anything you want to say, anything you want. Uh, it's not clear. Um, but yeah, that is all for today, and hopefully I will see you guys very, very soon. Peace.